Uh, Red Star is uh, in this moment the, the best team in Euroleague. They have so everybody. They are playing very well, especially in, in defense. They are uh, defending hard uh, with very good intensity during four, 40 minutes. And it's true in the last five games they have been able to win and very, very important against a very, very important teams, CSK, Real Madrid, Maccabi, uh, Zalgiris away. So uh, we had to make a very good effort and count uh, with our supporters uh, to beat them that, uh, in a very, very difficult game. It's a very important game for, for both teams because Basconia comes from uh, two, two bad games, losing in, in Istanbul against Al Safaka and also getting a 30 points loss in, in Athens and they need to get back to, to wins and they want to, to confirm that they are a team that want to stay in the playoffs, that want to, to stay into the fourth best teams that uh, will grant them uh, the court advantage in the playoffs. But uh, on the other side, the Red Star comes from uh, the opposite streak. They, they have won five games in a row and they, they seem to be in a very good shape. So uh, it's a, a very, very interesting game because both teams come from very different situations. I'm not surprised because uh, most of the team is together now for three, four years with the same coach and uh, their system is basically the same every year. Um, it's based on really tough defense and on offense they just play uh, like uh, tactically really good because they want to, to, to finish uh, with the, the, the shot at the, the end of the, the clock. Yes, it was a special moment. I didn't expect this to be honest and uh, it was uh, really nice from them to, to still uh, have nice memories on, on me, on my job, did, uh, what I did there and I'm, uh, I'm happy they did this and I'm also happy. That Always said uh, the pass is the pass, and we have to learn from the pass, but never be thinking of, of that. Uh, think of the real situation in our moment to be able to change our things eh, right now, no uh, two days ago or three months ago. Uh, now we have a very good opportunity uh, in front of our supporters to play a good game against a very, very good game. This year we're playing very well, and especially in the last period, like last five, six games, we, we, we play great. and. Uh, and we are in good shape and, uh, and I think that we, we, we deserve this position where we are now. Basconia is a very good team, one of the best in the Euroleague and uh, in last year a Final Four team. So I think that they have great players, great coach. Uh, they are uh, in, in good shape and, uh, and I think it will be very hard, maybe hardest game for us this season. Basconia will try to exploit the... They are very strong at home. They, they have won all games but one against Olympiacos. And uh, in the last two seasons, I think they are 21-2 uh, at Fernando West Arena. Uh, but if there is a team that knows how to win here, is that team is Red Star because they, they have won all games they played here in, in, in the Euroleague. So if there is a team that feels comfortable at playing at Fernando West Arena, that's Red Star. Sengeli is going to, to miss the game. Uh, Basconia will need even more Andrea Bargnani. Mm -hmm. He has been uh, through a lot of problems during the season because of injuries and after he joined back uh, the team uh, five, uh, fourth uh, games ago, his first three games were so-so. But in the last game in Murcia he got uh, 17 points in 16 minute, minutes. So I think uh, Basconia will need him. The third game, uh, I think the physical response of both teams because Basconia played on Sunday and before on Friday and Red Star played on uh, Saturday and on Thursday, the only game against Maccabi. Uh, the team that is able to, to put more intensity and they can, the team that recovers better from that effort, uh, I think they, that team will, will have more chances to, to win. Yeah, Red Star usually uh, in the past uh, win uh, in this gym here and against Caja Laboral, but in Belgrade the uh, first game we lost and we, we lost uh, like uh, e easy, we, we, we didn't have chance, any chance in this game, what what's proving that quality of uh, Basconia. 
grateful. I remember this hotel, Aqua, where I start my uh, my episode in in uh, in Spain, and uh, of course this wonderful city and wonderful people who living here. A very difficult match for me uh, against my old team. Uh, so, but we can expect a really, really tough game because Red Star Estrella Roja is uh, playing really good right now. They're confident. I know the guys, so they'll try to come here and win. And it's our job to to protect our home home, home court and uh, get this uh, win back after two loss uh, in uh, Euroleague. Radoncic is, is doing a fantastic job in Red Star with a very young team. Uh, losing very important players last summer, but the team keeps the intensity, keeps the, the, the identity of, of, of the club, and I think that's the, the better presentation card for, for Radonjic. And on the other side, Sito Alonso is his first experience in, in the Euroleague, and I think uh, he has been able to, to, to gather a lot of very different players and new ones, um, several, many of them without uh, experience in, in Euroleague, and the team is, is giving a, a very good answer so far. So I, I think we, we must give credit to, to both coaches because of their job.